welcome to this video my name is Anushka Gandhi and today's video is kind of an impromptu video because I actually did not plan anything in specific for this one um, I actually have a few friends here uh, in India who are willing to come here in Canada in order to pursue their future studies um, so they actually texted me very recently asking me all sort of questions regarding colleges here the different courses we have or how to know uh, uh, about the work permit how long they're going to get that or which colleges offer post graduation work permit so i then decided that i actually need to sit down and make a video on this because this is very important this is an important aspect of this entire admission procedure which we often tend to i would say just ignore um in the rush in the haste of finding colleges and getting through the entire process so this video is going to be for those who are actually looking to get into this country and find a better college and get their work permits after their colleges college study so without any further ado we'll get started but before that i request you all to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like this video so let's get started now first thing we need to understand is that not every college here in canada is going to give you an option to pursue your post graduation work permit after you get your studies done so before you go on in in your hunt of finding good colleges or finding good course the first thing you need to identify is what your intention is behind pursuing this post graduation I uh, would say just graduation. Uh, the reason being, uh, there are some people who would come here just in order to study. After their study is done, their plan would be to go back to their respective country. The second set of people are those who are intending to not only pursue their post graduation here, but to also settle down here, settle here in Canada, get immigrated here in Canada. So in that case, you need to make sure that the college you're opting for has an option of giving you, uh, has an option of providing you with a post graduation work permit. Because obviously, in order to immigrate, you would not be able to immigrate directly after you complete your studies. Oh, given that you have points, you, if you have uh, adequate PR points, you can definitely apply for the pre PR process. But if you don't, in that case, you certainly need a leeway, a, a space, a, a gap of good two, three years in order to gather those points and then apply for the PR process. So in that case, you need to make sure that the college you're opting for is eligible to give you a P, uh, work permit so how to identify that it's a very simple process and you can do it by yourself you do not need any agent for that or you do not have to trust on someone else's words because there are many people out there who are just trying to sell their course or just trying to sell their seats um, uh, for the matter of money so again it's not to abuse anyone or it's not to degrade anyone's um, uh, personal personality in that case I'm just trying to tell you is that uh, you can do the search by yourself so you would not have to blame anyone else for helping you through or just trying to helping you in disguise in that case. So the first thing I would like to tell you is go on Google and search designated learning institution list in Canada. That's where you're going to find the list of colleges for every province here in Canada who would give you, um, who would just tell you an eligibility if they have the eligibility to give you or give you not the work permit. So I'm going to give you a hands-on demonstration of how to exactly go on the website and search for colleges. So yeah, let's do that. So this is how we are going to search on Google the designated learning institutions in, call in Canada. So anything which says Canada.ca, just click on that URL and we're going to hop onto this page. Just scroll down, down, down and we're going to see the list by province or territory so for now we're going to choose Ontario and you can cho choose your own your respective province here and now we get a list of all the colleges in Ontario all we are concerned here is the DLI number which is the designated learning institution number and at the extreme right we can see where all the no's are written that is basically if the college provides us with a post-graduation work permit 
after the course so as it says no these are all the institutions which do not provide us post graduation work permit all we are concerned about is any college which says yes so for example i'm going to search kanasuga college which was my college for post graduation and if we, like we can see clearly it says yes for all the campuses and for all the courses so this is how you're going to search for any college here it's pretty much going to be the same so that was all about today's video i hope you found this informative if you did so please consider to subscribe to my channel hit the like button and comment down below what you want to watch next until then goodbye